everybody, welcome to Star Trek Model Action, Why Starline 22 here, as y'all know. Today, well, there's no projects on the bench, because I've cleared all my projects off there. I've put them on hold for the big 1350 scale, the original series, Enterprise. And you might be wondering what's in these little boxes here. So I'll open... I'll open them up and let you see. These are the matched colors for the Enterprise. These are the colors that round two matched for the Enterprise. Now, We've got our primary hull color, which is Tamiya. Hold this up here so you can kind of get a C. Tamiya JN Gray XF12. That's what Round 2 recommends for the primary hull color. So that's what we're going to be using for the primary hull color. Now, <coughs> um,. Give me one second. I'm going to go get my color guide that I printed off the internet, and I'll be right back. So, yep, give me one second. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my color chart here. Move this out of the way. Okay, so I've got my color chart here. And it's all ready, I guess you could call it, for now. Okay, so I showed you the primary hull color, J in gray. I estimated it would take, after thinning, about three bottles of that to do the Enterprise. And now, number two, for the exterior accents, we've got Tester's Model Master Medium Gray for our exterior accents. That's going to be your areas like on um, your... That's going to be for your areas like your impulse deck, um, the area on the inside of the nacelles, um, that's going to be, that's what that color is going to be, those areas. And then for our saucer pylons, keep in mind all this was based off of the factory Round two's specified. We have Hell Blue. I don't know how you pronounce that color, but it, um, Hell Blue maybe. It's kind of a light bluish shade of gray. That's gonna be for um the areas on the sauce on the um pylons on the warp pylons um. I can't remember if it's on the front here of the pylons or if it goes on the little grills that go down right in here. I'm, it, I think it goes on the grills. I'm not real sure. And then for our intercoolers, let me find it. For the intercoolers that go on the warp cells, the warp engine intercoolers, we have. Canadian, we have Tester's Model Master Canadian Voodoo Gray, which is hmm, kind of a whitish gray, kind of a whitish gray. So yeah, and then 
let's see here. I know there's two other colors that have to be. Ah. Uh, yep, here we go. Okay. For the interior, for the hangar bay, for the accents that go on the hangar bay, we have. Now, round two recommends to mix this 50 50. So we have 50. We're going to mix 50 of the testers model master neutral gray and 50% of the testers dark ghost gray. And that will be our hangar bay accent colors. That's like around your windows and stuff like that. That's going to be where that's located. And now our final color, which is going to be on the hangar bay walls, is Testers Model Master um, Sand. That's going to be your area on the inside of the hangar bay walls where. Um, your that's gonna be your basic wall the um hanger accent is going to be everywhere else like around your windows and stuff that's it for that um a little status update the kit i have i have the kit and then i don't have the kit um my grandmother bought me the kit for Christmas, and it arrived the other day, and she's got it wrapped up underneath her Christmas tree, so you'll have to wait. I had to wait till Christmas Day in order to get that, which <laughs> you can just imagine. I run over there every day just to look at the wrapped up box. I mean, it's just going to be awesome when I get that kit. Um... Uh, as far as my plans go for it, I'm just going to build it as the regular production version of the Enterprise. I never really liked the second pilot or the first pilot versions too much. I, it, they just didn't really stick to me. I like the production version. Um, what else? The bridge, the bridge, the um, interior bridge. Round two gave us the option whether we wanted to put the um, turbo lift in the, cr if we wanted to put um, the turbo lift off center of the view screen, or we wanted to put it in line with the view screen. I'm putting it on the offset of the view screen because that's just my per, that's just my personal favorite. That's what we always seen on the show was the turbo lift over here and then the view screen here so that's what I'm gonna do with that um I may put the photo etch parts on it I don't know quite yet if I will put the photo etch parts on there or not um I will I'm going to take and I'm not gonna light it because I plan on hanging this from the ceiling when I get done with it because I just have nowhere to put it down low um... I will be doing a little bit of weathering on it with my um... Pashi H airbrush oh, oh another thing that has to do with the airbrush this will be my first completely airbrushed model this will be the very first model that all the painting work I have ever done on it will be airbrushed. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. The challenges that come with that. Um. Uh. Huh. Let's see. Anything else? I don't need to cover anything else. Um, uh, no, not really. Oh, 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 oh. The um, Bassard collectors on the Wharton cells. The Bassard collectors. Since I won't be lighting this up, is there actually a pretty good way that I could replicate the effect on the bizarre collectors there without having to 
li without lighting it up. Is if there is somebody personal, message me please and let me know. Um. Yeah, that's it. Um. I wouldn't be surprised if there was an update. If um we actually. I will probably start this build series there of the big of the 1350 Enterprise on Christmas Day. I will probably start it on Christmas Day. As soon as I get back from my um grandparents' house, we'll probably start it off there with just a general overview of the kit. Part 2 will probably be a sim starting will be we'll be starting some assembly on the shuttle bay and then we'll move on from there. Um we will just move on and um after this model kit since the um one thirty second scale Galileo shuttlecraft has about the same paint scheme if I have any of this primary hull color left over or any of these colors I will we will start on the Galileo two shuttlecraft um but yeah that's it for this little status update of Star Trek model action. Um, uh, just in case you're wondering, the paint came from Mega Hobby. Just if you're wondering. Um, stuff that back down in there. Uh, and, um, yeah, that's it. Oh, one more thing. Um, for those of you who watch me that act that play Star Trek model uh, Star Trek Online, um, I haven't. I am. It'll be my first time doing this, but I'm going to create a foundry mission in Star Trek Online. Um, it's going to be called the Ultimate Computer. It's based off of the TOS episode, The Ultimate Computer. It should be live on holodeck in oh, two or three weeks, depending on how long Cryptic keeps the foundry down. I finished the storyline on it yesterday, so looking forward to that. Well, that's it for this little segment of Star Trek Model Action. As we always say here, live long and prosper, and happy modeling, everybody. See you next time.